This video is sponsored by Surfshark. But this is Gandalf. Gandalf Wizardman. You've requested a tutorial on the Gandalf impression, but is it any good? Darkness took me. And I strayed out of salt and time. Stars wheeled overhead. And every day I felt as long as the life edge of the earth. And that's how it feels to learn a Gandalf impression. If you don't know me, I'm the guy behind this video. Tell me. Mother, when did mum and dad the wise abandon reason for madness? In this video, I'm going to outline the basics of learning a Gandalf impression, and then I'm going to give you three of the best tips to take it to the next level. If you haven't seen this series before, make sure you check out the first two videos after you finish watching this one. They'll make a lot more sense. But please drop a like, and let's go. I do a great impression of a hot dog. <laughs> Ian McKellen is a Shakespearean actor, so he has that posh English RP accent. Imagine the two poshest English people you know, add them together, and then take off 80%. That's right, 120% English poshness. Gandalf has a deep, raspy voice, so you want to produce it from the back of the throat. When I initially started learning the impression, the two resources I used the most was this scene from Moria. So do all. Who live to see such times? It's not for them to decide. All of you is for us to decide. It's what to do with the time that's given to us. And this one from the Grey Havens. Very well. My brave hobbits. Here now, on the shores of the sea, comes the end of our fellowship. I will not say, do not weep. For not all tears. Far above your chest and your shoulders lies a very important impression too. Your facial expressions. The key body language when doing a Gandalf for the Grey impression is the stoop of the shoulders. But most importantly, you must act the words from the muscles around your eyes. My automatic body language trigger for Gandalf is to stoop the shoulders, so roll the shoulders forward, and pull my face into position using these muscles around the eyes. So much of his expression comes from those muscles, which means they have a big impact on the voice. Draws all the other muscles into place. Pulls your instrument, your mouth into shape. If you've seen my impression videos, you'll notice that my most accurate portrayal of Gandalf is in those, it's those softly spoken close-up monologues a miscellaneous hobbit because there I can clearly see and cover all the physical triggers that Ian McKellen is portraying. When I'm required to be more conversational or even shouting, I don't get to use those observations. So as a result, the impression tends to suffer. The sun is setting. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Run! <laughs> <laughs> this video is sponsored by Surfshark. So this idea I had, which is a surfboard powered by pygmy sharks. For a limited time only, if you buy now, you can get a special edition bag for your surfboard, your shark board. Now, Surfshark's a VPN. Why would a wizard need a VPN? Well, internet security for one. What's this? Email from a Nigerian printling. Hmm. A VPN protects you against phishing and other cyber attacks. I used it to watch The American Office on Netflix when it wasn't on the UK version. Let's say Netflix had the two towers in The Return of the King but left off The Fellowship of the Ring. Well, if you have a VPN like Surfshark, you can then go access it in a different country. Surfshark have supported this channel and allowed me to make more high production content like the deepfake. So make sure if you've been looking for a VPN, you get behind them. And using the discount code CHOPKINSON, you can now get 85% off and three months free. And if you're not happy, a money back guarantee within 30 days. Once you go past the quote stage of the impression, you'll have a bank of quotes that you should know inside out. When I start venturing into new phrases, I steal the rhythm, the tone, acting, 
of these old quotes that I know inside out and apply them to the new phrases. For example, take a quote that I always use for Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad. Now this is a quote that would be highly unlikely for a wizard to say. Yo, uh, Mr. White, for real. Like, seriously? What's your problem, man? And that is an encouraging thought, bitch. I'm now gonna steal the rhythm, the acting, and the body language from the So do all who live to see such time. Yeah, Mr. White. Like, seriously? What's your problem, man? Are you for real? And that is an encouraging thought. Now there you've got two very dissimilar quotes, but I'm accurately able to portray the second one using the rhythms, the tone, and the acting from the first one. It also means when you're building up a bank of quotes initially, mentally separate them into modes. How well you're able to do this does depend on how thoroughly you've done your prep work, how much you have observed and watched and listened to the character. When you can do an impression really well, sometimes people can tell who it is instantly with just a small noise or gesture. Last star! Without even saying anything. A great example of this is check out Ross Marquand's micro impressions. Here's some noises that you should add around your Gandalf impression to really make it three dimensional. So those are my three big tips for taking your Gandalf impression to the next level. Finally, I'll give you a learning frame to repeat alongside so you can start learning or improving your Gandalf impression. Farewell, my brave hobbits. My work is now finished. Here at last, on the shores of the sea, comes the end of our fellowship. I will not say do not not all tears are an evil. Please uh, drop a like. Also, I do a great impression of a Charlie. Hey.